So in this example, they asked us to solve for y, right? So we want y equals. Correct? Going all the way back to our algebra 1 days, when you're solving, you want y by itself, y equals. Correct? Now, when we look at this y, is this y in the denominator of anything? No, it's really technically in the numerator, right? It's like y over 1. So therefore, I can't, have, I can't solve for y when I have y in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the y in the denominator. To do that, I'm going to multiply by y minus 5 on both sides. By the division property, those divide out. And therefore, I'm left with y minus 5 times x equals y plus 3. Now, I can't solve for y when it's inside of a parenthesis. So how do I get rid of the parenthesis? Well, I can apply the operation that the parenthesis is being used for, which is the distributive property. So now I have yx minus 5x equals y plus 3. Again, I still can't solve for y when I have a y on both sides, right? So I need to pick a side that I want y to be on. It could be the left side, it could be the right side, it doesn't matter. But since I already put y on the left side, let's solve for y on the left side, right? And we usually like that, doing that anyways. So to do that, I'm going to subtract a y on both sides. But I also, I'm also i going to try to get the 5x to the other side, right? Because you want to get the y by itself. So I'll add a 5x on both sides. Therefore, I'm now left with yx minus y equals 3 plus 5x. Does everybody follow me? Now, usually, to get this to be 1y, we like to combine the numbers, right? Well, we can't combine them because they're not like terms, right? So um, we can't combine them. And the only other way that we had is a lot of times the, what we learned in Algebra 2 is when we have unlike terms but they're quadratic, we could do a different factoring technique. For instance, like x squared and x, we looked into fact, we set it equal to 0 and factored. But one of these, they're, just, they're both linear. They're just not like terms. So we can't, use any al we can't use any quadratic factoring techniques. But what we can do to get it to be 1y is you can see that both of these expressions share a common what? Y. y. So let's factor out the y. When I factor out the y, I'm left with x minus 1 equals 3 plus 5x. Now you can see that my one variable y that I'm trying to solve for is being multiplied by x minus 1. So to undo multiplying by x minus 1, I have to divide by x minus 1. And I do that on both sides. By the division property, that goes to 1. And now I have y all by itself. y equals 3 plus 5x divided by x minus 1. Ta-da. Um, that was a. That was a Thing of beauty, 